All right, what's going on guys and welcome back. So for those that have been following my channel for quite some time, you will recall that we have visited the topic of Temtem being quote dead in the past. However, a lot of things have changed since that video. And I want to discuss the current state of Temtem because it's very clear to me that there has been a gradual shift in the sentiment towards the game from the community just based on what I've seen in the Discord server, on Reddit, on Twitter, and in my own YouTube comments. This coupled with the fact that a lot of people are drawing comparisons to the boom that Temtem initially kickstarted for the monster taming genre and the massive success of Pow World is sort of what led me to make this video. Okay, so my previous iteration of discussing whether or not Temtem is dead happened actually before the game fully launched because yes, a lot of people were calling it dead during early access because the game would essentially see peaks and dips every time a new update would come out. This is something that the developers no doubt understood and forgive me for not being able to find the quote, but was essentially addressed when discussing post launch updates as the developers didn't want to have people only show up for massive expansions only for the game to go dormant once again. More on that in a little bit. Needless to say, the discussion about whether or not Temtem is dead and the reluctancy of the developers to add any post-launch content is something that has been a topic of discussion even during the earliest points of early access when the first wave of players started to fall off. Some will argue that this is what the developers planned all along and that the game still sold 1 million copies, which I agree is no small feat for an indie studio, but the counter argument to this whole idea and what a lot of people forget about the fact that the devs had this plan to start with is what a lot of people have expressed as stubbornness from the development team to take criticism even to their detriment. Saying that this is what the devs had planned from the start isn't a counter argument to why the game has been falling off. If anything, it proves people's point. This isn't 100% true though because there are certain things that the development team has relented on, but a lot of this stuff isn't really conducive to capitalizing on the potential that Temtem had. If we look at player counts on Steam, they're abysmal compared to what we had previously, and Temtem clearly is stepping back on many fronts. The standalone client, Temtem Showdown, has been axed due to its poor performance. They've also announced that they're no longer going to be doing any holiday-themed events, they won't be doing any more World Champion tournaments, and it really does seem like Temtem is on its last legs, which is really unfortunate because, as I said, the game had a lot of potential. Now, let me just say this, because I know there will be some pushback regarding concurrent players and how this doesn't really matter. The thing is, Temtem's an MMO. This isn't the same as Monster Sanctuary or Coromon or Nexomon coming out and then having a decline in concurrent players because other than online PvP, which is already a niche fraction of the communities, the games are single player experiences and don't require you to be online in order to play them. Many people have had this sentiment, that being the fact that Temtem feels like a single player game that was shoehorned in as an MMO for the sake of marketing. A lot of people bought into the game expecting it to be like an MMO. A lot of the things that MMOs and even games with wide scale multiplayer do in order to keep themselves alive just aren't there with Temtem and it feels like in many ways Temtem ticks a lot of the boxes that people wanted in a Pokemon-esque game but there's always a caveat that goes alongside it. For example, the Battle Frontier or Temtem Paradise only allows you to play once a day, lest you want to spend Pansuns, which to this day are still a slog to grind for, even if improvements have been made since the initial early access. The game has a 50 to 60 hour story, which a lot of people have wanted, but if you actually look at all the routes and the sizes of the maps and stuff like that, it's clear that a big chunk of the story actually just comes from the massive amount of unskippable trainers on every route, which boosts playtime substantially. The game adds in a lot of grind because they're so worried about the economy of Lumas and Umbras and Pi SV Temtem, but this is done to such an extent where people don't even want to interact with the features. Now, none of this is to say that Temtem was a terrible game or isn't worth playing. I think that if you're looking for something that has a sort of 3D cartoon-esque look to it and lacks RNG, Temtem makes for a decent single player experience if you're planning on playing the game and then putting it down after you beat it. The shiny hunting aspect isn't too bad either, though there are still complaints about the radar system, but ultimately it really does seem that Temtem is slowly killing itself from the lack of meaningful updates for anybody that's not into PvP, which again is a tiny section of the community. Every update they've had since post-launch, minus one legendary and root that were added, which by the way were initially part of the original launch plan, so they're not really post-game updates, they were always meant to be there, has focused on the PvP scene with new seasons bringing forth cosmetics that you could buy with the battle pass, and regardless of what their plans were from the beginning, it's clear that the community wants expansions and updates and 
and it seems like all of their eggs were thrown into this PvP basket, which was clearly for naught because all the support they put into PvP is slowly dwindling, as mentioned in the closing of Temtem Showdown and the World Tournament. Now, I'm not here to crap on the developers, nor am I here to perpetuate some type of anti-Temtem agenda. In a perfect world, Temtem would have taken advantage of what it had going for it and pushed itself even further by including meaningful post-launch expansions, because clearly by virtue of the peaks in player counts present during early access, when updates happened, there was a market there. But through lack of anything meaningful for PvP players, the very grindy nature of the game, despite the in-game showdown being something that was added post-launch, and what seems to be a reluctancy to want to change from their own original vision, Temtem really did miss a massive opportunity, and it hurts me to say that because it was literally the first monster taming game outside of Pokemon that I covered on this channel and sort of started my monster taming journey. It's hard to say what the future of Temtem is, but I'm assuming they're just going to continue putting out their battle passes and PvP seasons, which they have extended in length so they don't have to do as many of them, and just ride it out until it's no longer monetarily beneficial for them, until the game eventually goes offline and they install a single player patch. I feel like even if they decide to change up the way they're doing things now, by starting to focus on adding expansions and doing stuff like that, it might be too late, as a lot of time has passed and there's no guarantee that people will want to jump back into the game after a year and a half of no real updates outside of the formerly mentioned. I know I'm not going to be able to get to every single criticism and every single defense to said criticism and vice versa in this video, but regardless of any of the reasons for these things happening, it's clear that they did happen and unfortunately I'm not really sure whether or not Temtem can make a comeback or if the developers even want it to. I've heard rumors circulating that they're working on a new game for 2024. I don't know if that's going to be a monster taming game, nor do I know the validity of this, but I hope it is, and I hope the developers use this as a learning opportunity, but once again, only time will tell. I don't agree with the sentiment that Temtem was a failure. The game still sold a million copies, which is huge for an indie studio. It created a massive upswing in monster taming hype, which ultimately led to a lot of other games getting publishers, getting funding, and games such as Power World, Cassepis, Coromon, etc. gained that initial initial funding to make their projects because of the fact that Temtem showed them that these types of games were viable. I want to finish off with a couple of counterpoints I always see regarding the idea of more single player content for Temtem. One of them is that they added this in 1.5, which I must say, if you really believe that adding Umbras, which are just like super low odd shinies, some quality of life adjustments and one monster to the game in a year and a half would, you know, bring people back to the game, you're wrong because that's not what happened. And another one has to do with the competitive scene was actually brought forth by one of the devs. It basically states that, well, if we add more Temtem, how do we decide who gets to use them because it'll affect competitive and we don't want anything to be pay to win. This does feel like a little bit of a cop out and can be worked around by having different tiers that you can add to the game or just having the Temtem be added for free since the game has a battle pass and would actually incentivize people to buy said battle pass like other games do. I feel like a lot of people would have been down to pay for some of the game's cosmetics and stuff if there was a continuous flow of new Temtem and changes coming to the game to making it feel alive. I think that Temtem is a cautionary tale that a lot of other other developers need to hear regarding putting PvP first in games that are primarily PvE based. I cannot count the amount of games in the monster taming genre alone that have been held back by this hyper fixation on the competitive scene of their game only to have those PvP servers go completely dead within a couple of months after launch. A lot of people want PvP, but if you're going to abandon everything else for the sake of it, you're going to end up losing not only your PvE players, but eventually the PvP ones too, once battling the same people over and over again gets stale. I'm genuinely hoping that this is not the end for the game, or at least for Temtem as a franchise, but as it stands, I wouldn't be surprised if the servers go offline relatively soon. That being said, if anything does change, or if any updates are made, I will keep you guys up to date, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified, because we put out new monster taming videos every single day, and despite how long this video was, it only really is scratching the surface of this, so feel free to add any comments you have down below, and perhaps we can get a discussion going on, and I can provide any clarification if needed. I also look forward to the comments from those who didn't watch the video and make assumptions based on the first minute of it or the title so that's going to be fun as well also last time we had this discussion one of the devs had opinions about the video without actually watching it so i hope this time they actually take the time to listen to what members of the community are saying rather than making assumptions about what they're saying but anyways thank you guys so much for watching special thanks to my supporters especially jim hamilton dro ghost candy marunzi nemo and tragsoft and we'll see you next time peace